former Fed Vice Chair Richard Clarida. Mr. Clarida, welcome back. It's nice to see you. Good to be here. All right. So they're concerned about, you know, inflation remaining sticky, if not ticking back up and possibly having to raise rates even more. What are your own expectations? How many more hikes do you think are in the cards? Well, I do think the Powell Fed is data dependent uh, right now, but I've also thought, and after reading the minutes today, continue to think that uh, the risks are that we do get in one more hike uh, this fall. You know, at the June meeting, the, the SEP dots indicated that most folks thought that a July hike and one more would be required, and, and I'm leaning in that direction uh, now. You know, they could get data uh, that is sufficiently uh, positive for them, uh, that they could be done, but these minutes read like a committee uh, that is worried not just about the baseline, but about the risk, and as your quote indicated, the risk are to the upside on inflation. Wow. So, I mean, one more is, is I, I was wondering whether you were going to suggest that even more than one was potentially necessary. That, that's all you see, because I feel like the market would take that as a big W. Well, it could. I mean, right now, uh, the pricing, as I look at my screen, is under a 40 percent chance of getting in that additional hike this year. So it's certainly not priced in. No, I look, I, I agree. I think they're close to done. They've hiked a lot. They're in restrictive territory. I think that the debate does turn. Uh, at some point uh, to how long to keep rates in restrictive uh, levels. But on your specific question, I do lean in the direction that there is one more hike uh, in the pipeline this year. I'm curious as to your reaction to, you know, the Atlanta Fed, their GDP now. Now, <laughs> you know, it's not a, a, a forecast. It's now 5.8 percent still got a lot of eyebrows going up, right? So well, and if, if, they're, if they're even close to correct... Yeah. What is the implication, obviously, is that the economy is pretty darn strong. Well, oh, what's sure. that going to well, mean for, for your prediction and what the Fed might end up doing? Yeah, I, I think right now, uh, of course, Atlanta Fed's getting the uh, attention and they do they do good work uh, there. I think other indicators that, that we look at do indicate that certainly the economy entered the third quarter with a good uh, momentum. The economy has surprised me. It's surprised on the upside this year. I think, Scott, they're probably more focused on the labor uh, market because, you know, we do have near a 50-year low in unemployment. The, the statement itself today, the minutes itself, emphasize that the wage gains, wage inflation is still running hot compared to the long-run inflation uh, target. So I think probably more of the focus will be on the labor market, I would guess. How would you assess as to whether, you know, the worst case, so to speak, scenario for the Fed is one in which wages remain elevated? Prices paid, we just learned today, were, were up in August. At the same time, the economy remains stronger than they expected. Is, is that a worst-case scenario for not only them, because it really puts them in a box, and, and for the markets? Well, yes. Yeah. So I think, I think I mean, our baseline view is, is that the economy next year does downshift with inflation running in the twos. Um, uh, with, with perhaps some modest rise in the unemployment uh, in that scenario. But there is a risk case. It's not the most likely case. There is a risk case that inflation and the labor market is just very, very uh, sticky in the case of inflation, resilient in the case of the labor market. And if they're sitting there next spring with 4 percent inflation and 4 percent or below unemployment, they're, they're in a tough situation. Do you do you feel like we're done talking about the, the possibilities of a recession now? Now it's the debate of either soft landing or no landing. Or do you feel like it's still a, a risk that needs to be taken seriously? Oh, oh yes. I, I, I look, I think that, you know, recessions are in the eye of the National Bureau of Economic Research. But historically, we've never had a period when the unemployment rate has risen by more than half a point that has not been an MBER recession. Uh, and even the Fed itself and its projections in June saw the unemployment rate rising by about a percentage point. So at least if history is any guide, even a pretty softish landing could well be designated at least as a technical recession. So no, I don't, I don't think we should, should rule out, rule out uh, that a, a potential recession uh, at all.